breathe. Can you hear it? Welcome to Relay. If you boil a funny bone, do you get a laughing stock? Yes. No. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes, you do. Bad. <laughs> I I love how the freelancer is just a part Oh, it's of just the there. It's just part of all of our shows now. Uh look. Look, I've had so many people make so many comments and uh since I run this, I just decided, you know? Like <laughs> this is what happens uh when you play with fire. Um <gasps> there are multiple me's. That makes me very happy. Yeah, it's Mies. That's what it looked like when I was uh, doing the thing this week. Is Mies the actual plural of moose? No, it is not. Moose <laughs> is the actual plural of moose. Oh, like just moose, like yep. Lego. Yep, and goose. Uh, yeah. But well, no, that's geese. No, that's geese. Never mind. That's uh, what, deer. That's where deer, we get sorry. geese from. My bad. My bad. Deer and <laughs> deer and deer are all. Uh, you know, yeah. that's the same. Uh, uh hello everybody hi welcome to the show uh looks like it's just you square peg how you doing buddy <laughs> no not hello, necessarily square peg. shiver's probably in here somewhere nope hello shiver i want i, I want to just like throw in a hello shiver every once in a while during the show so that way when he eventually does wake up <laughs> And he comes in and lurks in the in the chat. He'll be like, "Ah!" <laughs> All right, we oh, uh, we got a lot, a lot to talk about. Yeah, there's uh, stuff this because we week. missed there's, last week. We missed last week, and that means there's just like, wow. Uh, so let's start with the pre segment. As always, uh, what you drinking? Water. Ooh. Health. That's it. Yeah. It's bubbly. Bubbly water. Bubbly water. Uh, I'm also drinking water. It's not bubbly. Uh, and it's I'm, I'm brand. I'm going to then have some Sapporo after. But, um, you know. Yeah. Got to hydrate. Yeah. Don't forget to hydrate, people. Eric? Eric do we even need to ask? Um, I'm drinking, um, one of my favorite beers, which we've actually oh. seen in here a couple times. People Skills. People Skills. From nice. Toolshed. Very nice. Uh, all right. Uh, welcome to the show <clears throat> where we, uh, talk about video games that are specifically not Star Citizen. Except for the times, uh, like when we were talking about the Freelancer, when we talk about Star Citizen. Yeah. We also don't talk about Squadron 42. Reference. It's We're, true. It, it is not the topic of discussion. It is a passing reference to Star Citizen. It's true. Yeah. Are we going to talk about Untitled Moose Game? When can we Moose get game? Untitled Moose Game? That would be amazing. That, that would, would be, be fantastic. It would be amazing. <laughs> like... Uh, that should be the next game for that company. I don't yeah, even know who they are. Sure. I like it. Uh, okay, it's it, in that case, it's time for the second segment. Segment in one. What you playing? Uh, I don't even know who to go first. Let's go with Eric this week. I'll Eric. talk the most, so end with me. Okay. I mean, you always I talk the most. Stuff. Well, well, yes, but I have lots <laughs> of things to talk about. Yes, Kay. you do. Go, Eric. Go me. So, um, I continued my campaign playing um, Northgard, and I wanted to mention it because I can I can say definitively that I I made this decision that I wanted to to try and get as many achievements as I could. I'm just gonna play through the game on hard. I'm like that's what I'll do. I'm gonna play through the game on hard. Yeah, about six miss missions in, it becomes really really <laughs> difficult. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm I'm working on it, but it's taken me a while. Um, 
and uh still love that game um i put off playing it for way way too long and um as you guys probably know i uh haven't played that many games recently because i uh was playing this new game called uh the outside and um it has really good graphics i showed off some of the lighting to you guys and Mm-hmm. a few uh a few shots yeah no i was uh i was out in the bushes um didn't see any meese actually but uh yeah i was out there for like five days so i didn't play too much too many video games but uh see yeah, that's see me. that's why you need a switch yeah yeah oh, fuck that'd be that would have been perfect okay okay you've convinced me i'm gonna do it now <laughs> that's <laughs> that's right. what did yeah. it be aware be aware um uh the switch will never go down in price no i know yeah i know uh they sell too many of them yeah. they said they sold like seven hundred and fifty thousand in october yeah <laughs> <laughs> holy crap um, um, you, you need a switch and multiple battery packs yes roger well or like I, a I generator have, i have yeah we have power okay yeah, yeah we have then, a generator then um, then a switch is like perfect yeah um david what did you play this week i played i actually played a lot of games this week and it felt really good end with valhalla okay smoosh into my games okay so i'm gonna start with uh did we i I can't remember did we cover Watch Dogs legion two weeks ago we did yes okay we we talked about it We 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 talked about how it's just it's fine. not. It's fine. It's not a hundred percent there, but it's fine, right? Okay. We were, we were so, looking for game of the year, and which, we got game of the moment, which unfortunately <laughs> was my worst fear for this game. I knew yeah. it wasn't going to be bad. I knew that it was going to be fine. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> my biggest concern about that game was that they were going to spend all their time trying to make their big fancy mechanic work, and that they wouldn't have any content. And that's exactly apparently what they did. Yeah, yeah. that's that's I, what happened. I really. Like that game has so much potential, and I hope, I hope that Ubisoft takes that system and makes another game with it. Mm-hmm. I, yeah, I, I mean they they put millions millions into this system. I can't see them just throwing it away. I can see them developing yeah. it more because. What if they went full Rimworld with it, dude? I know. <laughs> I know. Imagine that. It's on, honestly one of the greatest systems I think I've seen in gaming in a long time is the Nemesis system from mm. uh, Shadows oh, that of was Mortal. So, yeah. Yeah. That system and no, was... Nobody, nobody made a game like it again. I mean... No, nobody uses the Nemesis system. No, except them when they... Yeah, that's what I'm Did it again. Yeah. Yeah. Well, of course they did it again. They sold a bajillion copies. It's it's a great system. And yeah. Hey, Maxwell. How's it going? What's up? Um, What else was I playing? Uh, I actually just downloaded... uh, I I just got VR set up again. um, And Mm -hmm. started downloading some of the VR games. I... I picked up there's a uh, there's a humble bundle pack right now a, a VR humble bundle that had a bunch of stuff that I've been looking at uh, for a mm-hmm. long time uh, Creed something or rather which is a boxing game mm-hmm. uh, who can how do you go wrong with a boxing workout in VR you punch um, yep um, I expect you to die great which game. yeah. I've wanted it for a while. And uh, Walking Dead Saints and Sinners. I haven't touched that. I Do you have it? No. So. It's on my wish list. It's, uh, I mean, check out the Humble Bundle. It's like 20 bucks for a bunch of stuff. Um, it's, it's pretty decent so far. I mean, you gotta, like, like you're using, um, like, like melee weapons to to kill zombies and you really gotta like grab them and put some force into it to get the things it's it's uh it's cool 
like, it, it, I mean, I haven't spent enough time with it, but it looks like there's sort of like a, a system where you go on missions and you've got time and you try and, and, you know, run as much as you can, get as much uh, stuff as you can, and then uh, hordes start showing up and you got to run away. Um, it's, I don't know if I've quite got my VR legs back. I haven't played VR in a bit, but it uh, looks good. So I've, uh, I started playing a bunch of that. Started up um, a new campaign of D and D in real life, but uh, using Roll Twenty. So this is my first time going through Roll Twenty, and I hate it. It sucks. It's horrible. Roll Twenty is the worst. Um, it's great for the maps. I like having the map there. I like how you're you can you know control your own your own token, and they've got a lighting system, but. It's bad. Yeah. And and it's not this is good. It's not good. And this is what I wanted to say is that um so D D like I, I don't think it's actually Wizards of the Coast, it's another company, but D D Beyond, they're starting to pump out tools that are all like official Wizards mm -hmm. of the Coast. They're they're licensed tools. Um their character creator is great. You know, you, you go through the whole character creation process and it spits out a character sheet for you and then you click on any of the numbers and it will auto roll that number for you with your, like, I, it's just a nice system. I just, I want them to turn that into a roll 20 like, like experience because I miss D&D &D in person and I miss D&D. &D. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, uh, I've had very bad experiences with Roll20, unfortunately. Um, there's competitors to it that are coming soon, uh, one of which I have played, and that is the extent of what I can say. <laughs> uh, can you give me the name of it? Yes, Multiverse. Multiverse. Yes. Uh, how do I find that? Multiverse. Um, Playmultiverse.com. Playmultiverse.com. Yeah. I've heard of this thing. Okay. It's very good. It looks it looks very good. It's very Okay, good. cool. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna send that to my DM uh momentarily. Um the the other thing that I was thinking while while playing uh, D and D on Roll Twenty though is, do you remember Never Winter Nights One? Yes. That game, game. it was amazing. <laughs> My favorite game. Yeah, you've said that's your favorite game before. I mean, it's it's one of the games I've spent the most time in. I think Portal is my favorite game. Okay. Portal One. Uh, Portal One, interesting choice. Uh. Its length, its gameplay design was perfect. It was something completely new. The storyline was entertaining and fun and had like intricacies to it. It was humorous. It was serious. And it did not overstay its welcome. It was I, uh, three hours yep. and you're done. And it was perfect. I, uh, my feeling with that game was that by the end of it, I was like, where's the rest of the game? Well, they, which they is why gave I, you they gave you Portal Two for I, that, which is why I de which is why I absolutely adored Portal Two, and it's one of my favorite gaming experiences ever. My favorite game. <clears throat> that one right there <laughs> on the wall. Uh, anyway, what I was thinking is, like, wouldn't it be nice if there was a game, a modern game, that you could, you know use a tool set similar to roll 20 but do it all in a modern video game and then i was thinking man wouldn't it be nice if they implemented all of those those like some toolkits and and content creation and gm mode in uh, baldur's gate 3 and uh let us they'll do that i know that's what i was thinking they always and I'm, do that i know and i'm so excited for it yeah like yeah, it's so gonna be a big excited deal. It's gonna be for awesome. that it's gonna be D and D rules, wow. and and can you imagine if they sell as like DLC editions, like new D and D adventures and new rulebook editions and new? They won't do that. Oh, I I know, but 
they would never do imagine. That. Just imagine. Or if D and D takes the Baldur's uh, Gate stuff and, and makes game it into master their own mode thing, is a staple of uh, Larian Studios video games. Yeah, so, uh, Square Peg. So speaking, um, in fact, in fact, there is a one shot play session that is ran by none other than Matthew Mercer uh, on on the internet. Um, so. Uh, but uh, but usually it'll it'll either come on release or it'll come when they bump it to the definitive edition. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, speaking of Larian, for games that uh, that I'm playing, we haven't started it, but my I've got my Thursday night. We play games every Thursday night. Well, last Thursday, we beat Divinity Original Sin one. Nice, awesome, awesome. Dust two, which means that Thursday. We boot up DOS 2. I've been playing around with the character creator a bit. The game is incredible. It's so good. I know it's what I'm rolling. One of the best games I've ever played. I've I've picked out what I'm rolling. I'm really excited to start. Pretty Cannot rolling. wait to be rolling. Uh, I'm gonna do a summer archer. Nice. Okay. All right. Pro tip: Th This is slightly gaming the game. Pro yeah. tips: Number one, have one lizard. Yeah. And one undead. Okay. Uh, the lizard can dig with no shovel. The undead can lockpick with no lockpick. Because they use their bony fingers. Yes. Really? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. All right. Um, Love that game. Um, okay, what else? Where, where was I going next? D and D, that, that. Oh, I've also been playing a ton of Fallout seventy six. Mm -hmm. Um, I still love that game. Good. Uh, I st I think nice. it's I I still think it's well. What's what's happened is finally someone else in my friends group made the plunge. And in the space of like three weeks, he's put in like a hundred and fifty hours, and he's completely into it. And I've got someone else to play with, and uh, that's perfect. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Um. Anyway, I will. I'm gonna end. How much is Fallout seventy six right now? Actually, I guess Pass. it's probably on Game Pass. It's on Game Pass. It's, it's... <laughs> Game Pass. Fuck. Maybe I should just try it. Yeah, Again. you should. I, I did. I did try it before. To be clear, okay. Not me. It's gonna take a lot for me to go back to a Bethesda Fallout game, because Fallout seventy six wasn't the one that soured me on it. <laughs> it was Fallout four. The one before that. Yeah. I mean, Fallout four soured me. I Fallout four is my least favorite of all of them. Uh, there were parts about it I really liked. Seventy six is much better. I liked the fact that it was in Boston. <laughs> that that's it yeah um <laughs> the other thing that's i've been all. playing the other thing i've been playing that that jake uh jake cake mcbake asked me to end on valhalla is valhalla, valhalla. assassin's valhalla. creed valhalla i've put in probably 20 to 30 hours Oh, I've only put in like maybe three. <laughs> I've put yeah, I've I've Jake, I've played some Valhalla. Okay. Uh yeah, I, I played it for the so, two days before my PlayStation arrived. <laughs> that's fair. So David, yeah, what stage of the your uh your transformation into a Viking are you at? Um Have you started beating your chest or you know, wearing furs or I mean it's um, Canada. We do that all anyway. Two big thing that is important <laughs> for the Valhalla experience. There's the most important thing in that drink game. Mead? <laughs> Not only can you drink mead, there is a drinking mini game. Oh, excellent! You, I mean, how the hell do you make a Viking game without a drinking mini game? You, you, you oh, race. Goodness. You race to chug horns of mead, <laughs> and the first That's to perfect. down three wins. That's perfect. <laughs> perfect it is excellent um also the dice game is really good 
I haven't played it yet, actually. What? It's yeah. so good. It's so much fun. <laughs> I haven't tried it. I spent um, like an hour of those three hours just playing dice with some rando in my town. <laughs> so Valhalla has to be one of my favorite Assassin's Creed games. I love it. Period. I love it. It's um, awesome. I don't. I'm gonna, I'm, pick, not... I'm gonna take a very brief pause here. Yep. How the hell is Fallout 76 86 gigabytes? It's huge. It's large. The, it it is a huge game. One of the things Holy about it is crap. I, I've put you know, I don't even know how many hours into it. Uh, Forty hours just on Steam, and and hundred hours into it before it showed up to Steam, and I haven't been everywhere. It's it's oh. a humongous. Anyway, game I'm world. sorry for interrupting you guys. No, no, it's all good. Okay. Um, I, uh, Assassin's Creed is is a very very good game. Valhalla is it's excellently phenomenally weighed, made. The story is interesting. The side quests the side quests are all interesting. Every yeah. single one that I've done so far has been like e even if it's a fetch fetch quest, it's like oh it's interesting. Um. Yeah, Max Zoll, you absolutely can start with Valhalla. You There's... can. I would say don't and start with Origins, um, which is kind of like the, 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 they hit the reset button on the, on like the, the modern through line with that game. So, um, so I would, if, if you care about the overarching story at all, um, I would start with Origins, which is uh, two games back. So not 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 the current one, not the last one, the one before that. There's um, Origins, which, then Odyssey, Odyssey, and then Valhalla. Yeah. Um, but if you yeah. don't care about the modern story, uh, do what I did. Right now. Yeah. Do what I did. Watch a YouTube that, that catches you up on the story and start with Valhalla. Because Valhalla is a better game than Origins or Odyssey. Um, um, just a quick ver uh, verdicts out on if it's better than Origins for me, but because uh, because I still like Bayek as a character way more than Avor. Um, Bayek but... is a great character. The game uh, is is better. Um, just as an FYI, um, since Assassin's Creed, I think thought this was not notable since Assassin's Creed is a very long running series. Um, Valhalla has ha has. Uh, has had the most successful launch in the franchise's history. Uh, is it franchise it is number history? One. Yep. Um, or was it Ubisoft history? Well, maybe. I mean, they kind of might be one and the same. The thing I'm reading says franchise history, but it's it's the best selling Ubisoft PC title ever. Yes, on P. Yeah, yeah. and it's also the best for, um, total overall launch across all platforms for the for the Assassin's Creed. Uh, franchise which is awesome because vikings is a very good setting yeah um yep. it's it's a it's also beautiful it is a absolutely gorgeous game uh well voice acted stories good uh they they sort of honed in the experience a bit from origins and odyssey which were really free roaming they've they've sort of narrowed this down a little bit um with with the exploration and also with the weapons system it no longer like gone are the you get a million different weapons and each one's a little bit better now it's you get a certain number of weapons by exploring and finding them and then you can put time and, and resources and upgrade those weapons um i really like the uh the the draconic word <laughs> uh thing they lifted from skyrim where you you don't gain new abilities by leveling you find them yeah um so much like are they the, are they the, um the words in skyrim like are they runes uh yes yeah that's that's why there's a whole um uh vikings had a whole runic language and yeah. um that that fits in perfectly i'm sure they were like yeah. this is perfect we're yeah. doing it this way um it's and, it's great yeah you you um max Zoll, you uh, you can get the uh ubisoft subscription if you don't want to pay full price for the game so 15 bucks a month i think 
That's actually what I've done. I didn't buy it. I just, uh, I decided to go with the pass. 20 bucks. I'll play as much as I can this month. Yeah. And I own every Ubisoft game on PC. So <laughs> this is, no this is literally the first time I'm doing that. Um, just because I didn't want to pay the 80 bucks. I'll probably buy it when it's a bit cheaper, but, uh, but yeah, Valhalla is great. Um, I bought it. Yep. For the Xbox Series X. This you time. did. Uh, which leads into my things that I've been playing, which is which is basically the new console. Wait, wait, so, hang on, Jake. I need I need one more second. Okay. Because because you were talking about how the dice game is the best thing in it. It's pretty good. The best thing, in my opinion, was I was out on a raid raiding a monastery you know slaughtering people with with my my horde of vikings in tow fires burning and i killed a bunch of people and looted some chests and stepped out of the building and there was a puppy running around so i stopped in the middle of an all-out war and had some pet time with the puppy and and you know told him he was a good pupper and pet the pupper and then sent him on his way that I can do that in the middle of a Viking raid. Twelve perfect. on ten, perfect game. There you go. That's all. Uh, Sorry. Go ahead, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. Did you get so, blood on the puppy? <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> yes. Um, uh, so, so first thing to hey, so arrive rough. a couple weeks ago, um, or last week actually was uh the xbox series x um which uh which i put in my bedroom actually uh Good because, place for it. because now uh i have um because my my computer is hooked up to my game room tv also and also i have my cell phone it means i can play a game pass game on four different mm -hmm. screens in my house and have those saves sync together anywhere so I can put it down and pick it back up anywhere in my house. It's awesome. I Jake, love it. I think you like video games. I do. <laughs> I do. Um, but, uh, and Assassin's Creed is a really good play in bed type game because you just kind of wandering around doing stuff, doing some raids, slapping some fools, you know. Yeah. Um, Couple things on that. I'm actually so I'm I'm not trying to plug my Twitter right now, but just because Twitter is the easiest way for me to share video. Yeah. Uh I am going to post where is it? There it is. I'm going to post how fast Yes. The Xbox Series X can go from completely off and i'm talking i unplugged this thing before i did it to in game not just booted in game that video is nine seconds long <laughs> it's pretty good oh it's extremely crap. good it, yeah. it is so fast and you can switch you can switch uh, between multiple games very, very easily. I think it's up to six. You can have like in cash at any given time, which is nuts. Um, also, like it runs silently. It's this big monolith uh, uh, 2001 A Space Odyssey looking thing that's in my bedroom now. Um, it's it's great. Um the only problem that it has right now is that it really doesn't have a lot of games. Um, and yep. that's because Xbox uh, went the whole Game Pass route. Um, and actually, Max Zoll, I am going to answer that question at the end of this. Um, but that being said, it is an awesome console. Um, I highly recommend uh, if, if you favor Xbox, uh, if you're thinking about upgrading, um, one, it's 100,000% safe to upgrade um, without needing to get, worry about your games not working or anything else like that. It all works. It's all backwards compatible uh, across four generations. 
Xbox 360, Xbox One, and Series X slash S, whatever. It's pretty you want. good. Um, it's crazy and it works. It's so so good. I was playing Dragon Age Origins. Awesome. Why not? Like a week um, ago. They like Microsoft's that. done that for a long time, and not that long ago, I played uh, uh, on my Xbox One X. I played Fusion Frenzy from uh, the I think original Xbox days, yep. the Xbox Arcade. Yep. Yeah, that was a launch title. Yeah, that was uh, that was Fusion a nostalgia. Frenzy. That was a nostalgia moment. <laughs> um, and Maxwell, <laughs> nobody needs <laughs> multiple things to play games on. Um, I just like having the option to play games anywhere in my house, not just at a desk. So, yeah. Um, now, uh, so that being said, also, um, I, I didn't bring the controller up here because uh, so this is an Xbox One controller. Uh, it's the same. Except they added a button. They added the share button. Okay, yo. Yo, I gotta talk about the share button, okay? It I was excited about that. Mind blowing. All right. So you know, like Sony has had the share button for a while. There's ways to take mm -hmm. screenshots in your games and all that, but it's kind of clunky, right? It is clunky. Yeah. You have to sure. like sign it. You you. It's only on platforms they support. They um, you have to sign into all your stuff, and sometimes you get logged out, so you have to sign back in. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, and then it, it forces you to share it in like a very specific way. Um, and even the old Xbox was like this new Xbox is like, yo, we've solved that problem. Here we go. If you tap the share button it takes a screenshot. If you hold it down, it will record. Uh, it will take the last minute of whatever you've done and record that. It will save that to your console, but it will also instantly upload it to the cloud. Yeah, I mean, to depending on your internet speed. OneDrive? No. Hold on. Stand by. We are standing by. Right here. Oh, yeah, okay, the Xbox app. Cool. Yeah. So, and I can just tap one of my screenshots here. There we go. And there's just a save button. That's oh, awesome. that's awesome. And then you can share it And I to can anything. also hit share, and it gives me the OS share screen. So you can share it anywhere. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. It's That's fantastic. Awesome. It is so, so good. Um, and yes, um, both consoles are 4K Blu-ray players as well. Um, so if, if, yeah. you, if you have a 4K screen and you want, um, you want 4K movies, by all means. Also, the Xbox Series X supports, uh, actually, both consoles support 4K 120 hertz. Um, mm -hmm. The only caveat to that is that it must be an HDMI 2.1 display, and there's not that many of those. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. yeah. I do have one. Uh, it's it's uh, the, the LG C9. Yeah, um, you, you have the king of all TVs. Yeah, um, actually, it's they, they replaced it already. <laughs> well, of course they did. Um, but but uh, so and and that being said, I tested it. Ori and the, Ori and the Will of the Wisp runs at four four K one twenty, rock solid. Um, wow. Also, if um, if I'm sure that you, looks okay. Uh, oh God, it's it's unbelievable. Um, also, if you don't have a 4K display, and actually it's a toggle, if, if even if it supports the the or not a 4K display, if you don't have HDMI 2.1, and even if you do, and it's, it's a toggle that you can switch between, you can switch between 4K 120 or 6K 60. Nice what? downscale, yeah. All right, wow, yeah. Um, it's awesome. It's awesome. I I was blown away. I was super impressed with that um so so yeah that's the xbox um then two days later <laughs> my my playstation showed up um and i actually grabbed the controller um because it's a heck of a lot different than uh mm -hmm. than what it used to be how did how is it because i've been waiting for so long for a playstation controller update i've heard i've heard this very is the good best things. controller ever made Fantastic, because I want to buy ever, one. ever. I mean, I disagree. Um, not the Duke supported is the best, on PC but... yet. Not supported on PC. Uh, unfortunately, 
look at our it, that's in our news actually yeah we'll talk about uh that. coming soon yeah but not yet um so uh a couple things to note about this control well actually both controllers are now also both USB C. thank the lord i was gonna uh, say now it's now it's this uh xbox uh xbox series blank and um and the nintendo switch pro controller are all USB-C controllers and the, the switch itself is also USB-C it's almost uh, like everyone's finally deciding that USB-C is wonderful. just the way Except to for go you, apple and only apple. on your phones apple sucks my, apple is my iPad apple is, is USB-C apple is horribly anti-consumer and they suck it's weird it's weird um yes. anyway um so a couple things about this controller um, number one, it has a wide array microphone that sounds excellent. So I was, I was actually really surprised. Um, uh, also everybody's like, oh no, microphone on my controller. Oh no. Uh, there's a big fat mute button right there. So don't, don't, don't worry about it. That's you good. Just hit that. The light comes on. So that way, you know, um, touchpad is back. No texture on it. Don't know how I feel about that yet. Um, the sticks are the same the buttons are the same the d-pad is the same here's the big the two big things they changed number one the, th the whole thing is more ergonomic this thing fits perfectly in my hand 100 percent. yeah perfect. that's what I've, I've heard it's way more ergonomic than old um, PS playstation controllers and number two and what makes this controller the best controller of all time is it has the craziest haptic triggers I've ever felt in my life. So the trigger swings just like yeah. a normal trigger. But then what if you pull the trigger of a gun where the, it's supposed to feel like a click? It can do that. <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. Nice. In context. Not only that, uh, it's been tested that in Call of Duty Cold War that just came out. Yeah. Every gun has a different feel. Oh, that's play. awesome. Every single gun. It is wow. Wild, dude. <laughs> and I can't even remotely <laughs> describe it to you. Like, you have to feel it in your hands for it to make sense. Also, it has the same uh, rumble array that the um, the Switch uh, Joy-Cons have. So, like, they can simulate different feel also in the controller. Mm -hmm. um, not just the triggers, the whole controller. Yeah. There is... Okay, so I was playing Astro's Playroom. And in Astro's playroom, there's a part where, like, you're in, like, a beach area. And there's a part where, like, sand is blowing really, really nasty, like, like straight at you. Mm -hmm. And it, it felt like my controller was, like, gritty. It That's was, weird. It was wow. wild, dude. It was, I, I couldn't even comprehend what was happening. I wonder if they're, like, I wonder if, like, Sony for that are creating, like, a library of effects that the haptics can make can feel like and having that be like freely I mean, it's, distributed it's just their uh their controller api it's like yeah people can get access to that um and maxwell yes uh in fact i use it all the time <laughs> it's it's great it works simple as that um it's it's uh part of game pass so if you have game pass ultimate you can play game pass games on your phone um uh so yeah so this controller is the best gamepad of all time hands down nice. it is awesome um it is also probably my like the best looking controller i've ever seen i i really it's like it. it is very pretty i like it a whole lot <laughs> um um and yeah like and and sony's got a share button too so there you go so what else are you playing uh i so on the playstation uh, uh, I'm actually going to go in reverse order of what I listed here. I'm going to start mm -hmm. with Demon Souls. <sighs> Demon Souls is the best looking game I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> really? 
Unbelievable. Really, the best? There's the nothing. Best. There is nothing that looks better than this. Really? Yes. Do you know what is it even more Very insane? What's that? They did it without using ray tracing. Really? Yes. Holy shit. Wow. And it runs at rock solid 60 frames. Probably because they didn't use ray tracing. <laughs> yeah. It's unbelievable. Like, wow. It is the best looking game I've ever seen in my life. Hands down. And it's and it's still Demon Souls. At its core, it's the same game. Um, like just like if if you want to play Demon Souls again, there is no better way to do so. I mean, yes, I do remaster. want to play Demon Souls again. Um it is unbelievable. I, I haven't played too too much of it, um, but uh my roommate Josh is like <laughs> like 20 hours in already <laughs> um uh it's awesome um so uh that's all i have to say about that because i haven't really played a whole lot also it's a game that's existed number two uh i've been playing spider-man miles morales um which uh also came with the remastered version of um of spider-man ps4 mm -hmm. um which is would dude, it be would it be kilometers of ice no my miles morals kilometers vices no no um anyway <laughs> uh the, they so uh, very unfortunately very unfortunately you have to decide if you want ray tracing or if you want 60 frames per second which one did you choose 60 frames per second that's what i thought <laughs> um because who oh boy uh that game feels so good at 4k 60 <laughs> good lord it is unbelievably good looking um and and it like it feels so good like i, I feel like i'm more in control of myself which in a game where you're literally flinging yourself at 70 miles an hour uh mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> through the streets of new york is important <laughs> so um yeah and and honestly i really liked um i i really liked the the first game i i had no issues playing that game at all at 30 um, does psvr work with the ps5 what does psvr work with the ps5 yes it does um okay. all of the accessories uh will work um the the only weird caveat is the ps5 camera does not support psvr weird so you have to use a ps4 camera you have to use the one that they were selling with the psvr yes all right i mean that's not horrible no oh and they usually sell them together so if you yeah. have all those accessories it'll work just fine cool um uh and then last but most definitely not least <laughs> i am playing one of the finest video games of all time <laughs> who called it me i did i am talking about bug snacks uh i can bug sum up snacks i can sum up this game in three words wait no six words okay pokemon snap but you catch them that's the game um but also fair enough uh it's an adventure game so you uh there's like npcs you interact with they give you quests you have to fulfill those quests by catching bug snacks or by doing other stuff um and the whole goal of the game is to like you 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 hear about this this wonderful island this this wonderful wonderful island that uh that has all these bug snacks and you go there and uh you go to this town and there's this guy who who has declared himself the mayor of the said town <laughs> but there's nobody that lives there anymore <laughs> and your job is to one track down the scientist uh Dr. Lisbert um uh, and and her partner Egabel, uh, uh, also they have wonderful names. 
Um, <laughs> and they, uh, uh, you have to track them down and kind of reunite this community. Um, two big things that make this game like top five this year for me. Number one, the writing is incredible. There was, there's a right to repair joke in this game. <laughs> it is so good. <laughs> um, oh, man. Uh, and I just died laughing because th this is like clearly a game made for children. Um, there's also, there's no like dark undertones as everyone expected it to be. No, it is like, it is wholesome and, and just lovely and wonderful. And, uh, like it's a little, it, like there's tension, like there, like there's some, some stuff that goes on in the game, but like, it's, it's like any Pixar movie basically. Like mm -hmm. it, it gets as serious as a Pixar movie can get. Um, but like. If you if you have like an eight year old, this is the game. <laughs> like, like David, <laughs> buy this for Mac. Good <sighs> lord, <laughs> it's twenty bucks U.S. So probably about thirty. So where can it's we on, find this? It, uh, this is jewel it only on EGS? Yes, it is on EGS. Um, however, if you have a PlayStation 5 or if you are planning to get a PlayStation 5 and you have PlayStation Plus, you can get it for free. Ooh. Which I did. Free is a nice price. It is. Um, I love this game, top to bottom. It's wonderful. Uh, Shiver would love all of the names of the bug snacks because <laughs> they're almost always puns. Um... My favorite is the Godzilla reference. It's a giant moth, like huge, like monstrous mm -hmm. kaiju levels of moth. Uh, but it's a pizza. So think like if you sliced a pizza in the right way <laughs> and made it flap, it would look like a moth. Yeah. Uh, its name is Mothza Supreme. Oh, God. I love it. <laughs> it's very good. <laughs> Uh, oh, I'm also man. I'm also a fan of uh, of oh, what was it called? A uh, cockroach. It's a it's a taco cockroach. Okay, a little pepper. Feet. I like that. That's good. Um, yeah, bug bug snack. Everyone, please play bug snacks. If if you want a break from the heinousness of our world. <laughs> and you just want to feel good and have a great time with your friends from from what is it Snacksburg and you want to you, <laughs> you want to catch these bug snacks dude just just grab that game it's on PC right now on Epic Game Store it's wonderful what did young horses make before this i don't remember and it's something i should know uh wasn't it the octodad it was Octodad. Yes. Oh, man. Yeah. Bug Snacks. Bug Snacks. Bug Snacks is a also, little old place where also you Bug Snacks can catch some bugs. has an excellent soundtrack um, that is not just the, the song from the track. Provided by me. Uh, that song is an original no. Bug Snacks creation. No. No. Uh, I'm going to platinum this game. I'm gonna All get right. every trophy. Um, and that's what I've been playing. Uh, oh, real quick, some some notes about the 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 PlayStation itself. First, it's huge, <laughs> massive. <laughs> it's giant. Uh, number two, don't like that I only have two thirds of a terabyte of storage space available to me. Don't huh. like that. That's bad. Um, I uh. Uh, I appreciate that it runs as silently as it does because the PlayStation 4 did not. And uh, and the backwards compatibility works pretty well unless you are downloading it digitally. <laughs> and then yep. and then the uh, the UI will sometimes force upon you the PS4 version of your game, unfortunately. Um, Problems, but yeah, it's, it's the first week. So also, here's the thing. Sony's never had good UI. 
<laughs> I it's don't know true. why people I don't know why people expected it to be better. I expected it to be the same or worse, <laughs> to be honest. It's not their strong suit. They they make a game box that plays game. Um uh and that's it. Yeah. So, uh PS5 is great overall, I would say. 8 out of 10 console experience. So uh, which is better? 10 out of 10 game. Okay. So here yeah, I wanted to get to your question, Maxol. The answer is neither of them. And that's great. Here's the reason. And I forget. It was like a GI Biz he- headline or something. Um, but they they said Xbox is trying to be Netflix and Sony is trying to be cinema. Mm-hmm. And that's awesome because they can do totally different things. And that's great. Um, so it it like... For those of us who have both, it's insanely great (laughs) Mm -hmm. because I get wildly different experiences and not just like an alternate game machine. Um, And for those of you who who like want to make a choice, that's all you have to ask yourself. Would you rather have access to more games for a monthly subscription or are you the one to buy the big blockbuster full price monstrosities that are like like groundbreaking insane insane craziness that's the ps5 so they're both trying to do two completely different things and actually if you include nintendo in that nintendo's doing something completely different than either of them. Um, <laughs> they're off they're off on their own in the corner you it's know? awesome it's awesome there's video games are in a great spot right now because they are in uh, an excellent there is, spot there is so much and like obviously on pc you you kind of get a pcs little have bit never been more powerful yeah, yeah and it's it's fantastic and like to give you an idea i've been talking about consoles for a while i just want to put my pcmr card on the table there's a 3090 in this machine right here <laughs> i'm not leaving the pc gamer zone at all like i'm just i just like video games and i'll I'll play them wherever they deliver them yeah, absolutely um consoles good good job okay let's move on oh my goodness we've been on that topic for a while uh next, next one's usually pretty quick yeah next one's pretty quick it's the accurately named segment three one game you want mm-hmm. uh I'll start. Uh, just real quick, I want the Pathless. Oh. I've said it before. You get please look okay. up that game if you haven't. I don't know why I haven't picked it up. I realized this as I was looking at it. I'm like, the Pathless is out on PlayStation right now. And and on Epic. I don't have it. Yep. Yeah. Um yeah. Eric. So um after the uh we're probably gonna talk about this a little bit later but let's just say the thing we're gonna ta- are we gonna talk about it later it's not in the news um okay um after the incredible cyberpunk trailer that that dropped today oh um God. or our night city wire special edition that dropped today uh it v- thoroughly reinvigorated my desire to play cyberpunk 2077 <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh um it looks, so, it looks better every time they show it which, which i know is awesome <laughs> it's almost like so, they delayed it so that they can polish it more yeah yeah That's exactly um what they did so um but you know i'm only supposed to choose one here but i just wanted to mention cyberpunk and then i wanted to say that i have uh had many recommendations to play deep rock galactic and i have not played it yet um and I believe uh, it's on Xbox Game Pass. I was just gonna say I went opened up Xbox Game Pass and there is Deep Rock Galactic. And yeah. so I'm gonna play it. I think uh, um, Halo 4 was just added to that as well, actually. They have like yes, a whole Halo sorry, section. Now. That was news that I wanted to put on the list and I forgot. Halo 4 is on PC yep. today. Fun yep. story. Oh, actually, I I forgot a game that I've been playing, Drake Hollow. Drake, Drake Hollow. It's on Game Pass. You've probably never heard of it, which is really sad. I think it's by it, Annapurna. It, I, there's like 
there's there's a crazy monkey with bells in my mind just going ah and i don't um, i don't i don't know what that is but but it sounds all the familiar so i'm gonna look it up. it's uh it's cute it's um so i've actually picked oh, up oh yeah i've picked up game pass on my pc uh, my wife's PC and my daughter's PC. All three of us have Game Pass accounts That's a lot because of Game Pass. it's a lot of Game Pass. I really want them to add like a family account where I can just ooh yeah right. Please, so they did that for Xbox Live Gold, so I think it's only a matter of time. I think it's honestly. gotta be, but but we're they all did playing it for Xbox Live Gold before. We're all playing Drake Hollow together because it's sort of a you know it's a cute crafting exploring fighting game that these uh, little plant guys yeah they're the drakes and you gotta you gotta take care of them and you gotta make sure they've got a place to sleep and food to eat and you build like a little base and protect them and you gotta go out and find resources and bring them back so they can build stuff they it's look fun like radishes yes they look like walking radishes with arms yeah <laughs> cute it's a really cute game um like it's it's not, there's not a lot there if you're, like, into, like, game games. But if, like, for, for a kid, oh, it's amazing. Like, really, really fantastic game for a kid. This it's is giving, uh, This is giving me some Bug Snacks uh, yeah. vibes yeah. going on right here. It's, it's, uh, I'm finding it really, really good for her, actually, because she's been playing a lot of games with a controller. It's, but I've got her playing it with mouse and keyboard, and she's, it's getting her some mouse and keyboard skills um, which are important bug snacks is first person so mm. you can you can play that game with a mouse and keyboard very easily yeah <laughs> uh okay yeah quick anyway thing, the quick oh. thing bug snacks fov slider on console wow oh that's cool crank that crap up to 95 instantly He's like, get out of here. I'm not doing 60 FOV. I, I, <laughs> IBL Games, exactly that. It's it's an entry-level uh, survivor game. Um, oh, that's what, cool. what, we're, what we're actually doing like it grounded. as... Well, well, we're doing mm -hmm. this before Grounded. Because Grounded can be a little creepy. Those spiders are... They're big bugs. They are. Yeah, they're creepy. You can turn they're. them into white orbs if you want. <laughs> I know. But but they're they're giant, right? Yeah. So we're, we're starting with Drake Hollow. Get her into it a bit. Then we'll move to Grounded. And then we'll throw her right into Rust. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's there's peniles in that game. Oh yeah, gotta learn it early. Oh no! No! no. Um, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, it's man. we're 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 starting. We're getting her started on uh, on we're good getting games. There. Yeah. Um, I want the game. I want is uh, I want Village. Otherwise Resident known as Resident Evil. Resident Evil Eight. I also uh, want that game. I want that game. I love Resident Evil. It's one of my favorite series. Like between Resident Evil, uh, Legend of Zelda, like they're they're the good old classic ones that. I don't, I don't think I have a favorite series of games. I've realized. Uh, my favorite series is definitely Zelda. As evidenced, as evidenced by my son's name. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah, um, but uh, Resident Evil's If I, if up I there. were to pick one, it would probably be Mass Effect, uh, given my dog's name. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's really hard. But it's, yeah. it, I mean, it, it, Zelda's at least still alive. Rip Mass Effect. No, they, just, they literally just said they're making a new one. I know, and I'm excited and for that. remaster's coming out in like three months. <laughs> I'm gonna care about that depending on the price. It's gonna be sixty um, bucks for all three, for all three and all the DLC. Okay, one that's box. all right. That's, Maybe. that's fantastic. Are you kidding me? I, I mean, mean, I already, I already own them all though. Like, and they're remastering times. the first, the first one, aren't they? Yeah, the, they're not the doing first a, two. No, they're not doing no. a remake. Okay, it's that remake. see that disappoints me. No, I, I said, I said. But, I said remaster. They're they're remastering the first one. Yeah, all of them. And oh, all three of them. Okay, yep. wow. 
No, I'm I'm excited for more Mass Effect. Uh, it's I I don't want Mass Effect to go out on Andromeda. Like it's such a good series. It's one of the the better sci-fi games. It's, I want it to come back. It's too valuable of an IP. Yeah, to, yeah. To let it die. Yeah. Um, so. So I mean, same reason. Think, there's another Dragon Age game coming. Yeah. <laughs> it's the same. It's the same reason we we got a new God of War. God of yeah. War Ascension was terrible. It was awful. Uh, but um, what came out of it? Yeah. New... Oh, yeah. Um, Did you see uh, this small news that is specific to people who know who she is? Uh, do you guys know who yes. Alana Pierce is? I do. Yep. She's she she's got a job working for she them. She got right? a job. Oh, that's that's a job. Yeah. She, yeah. She's a junior writer for for Sony Santa Monica, which is insane. That's wow. a job. Um, yeah. Uh, it's it's what she wanted to do. Yeah. Like with her life. <laughs> I mean, so that's that's. that's cool. That's what I want to do with my life, or wanted to do. I'm not gonna write video games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna end up doing it because there are two things I wanted to do with my life. One of them is write video games. The other is what I'm doing now: save the bloody environment. Um, there you go. Good job. So at least I'm doing one of them. Mm hmm. Right, yep. and I mean, Alana Pierce also got to be in Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven. Yes, so she did. she's doing all right. Yeah, she's doing all right. Uh, uh, okay, I want to move on to the next section. Good uh, for her. Segment Getting two. Getting a dream job must feel really good, Alana Pierce. Segment yeah, I'm sure. two. Yeah. Hey, look, guys, news. Uh, we already covered the first thing. Valhalla is the best-selling PC title for Ubisoft ever. Yep. Um, oh, someone covered the second one. Started on this news. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I'll I'll be right back. Okay. Uh. Uh. So there was a viral video of Xboxes lighting on fire. Turns out they weren't lighting on fire. Somebody <laughs> was blowing vape smoke into the bottom vent, and it was pushing it through the top because that's how the ventilation works. Um. <laughs> <laughs> and Microsoft Microsoft put out the only tweet they could have tweeted, which which is we can't believe we have to say this, but please, please do not, please do not blow vape smoke into your Xbox. <laughs> oh, so funny. Um, oh, it looked man. legit to be honest. It was kind of crazy, um, but uh, but yeah, it came out rather rapidly. But it came it came and went just as fast. Um, yeah, yeah, that was entertaining. So don't do that. Why why would you ever do that? Uh, you get to see the your Xbox spout smoke at the top. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Jedi Fallen Order is the second best selling game of the past year, which is crazy. Wait, Jake, I'm gonna wait, guess. Jake. What? Wait, Jake. Wait, Jake. There's something What's I wanted to mention. It's There's some crossing. Oh, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, there's there's one other thing that I've seen people do with their Xboxes that you should do, which is you put a ping pong ball up top, and the fan will keep a ping pong ball floating. Yeah. I don't have a ping pong ball. I've get a ping pong to ball. That. You need to sounds get like one. A, sounds like an instant Amazon purchase. Give me some ping pong balls. Yeah. You, <laughs> you need you need to just keep one on there permanently and have it float anytime it's on. <laughs> this has been levitating for years. Yeah. Um, I'm really really glad that Jedi Fallen Order has done that well. It's awesome. Hey, and if you haven't played it, uh, if you have an Xbox One or Series X, uh, you can play it as part of Game Pass as EA Play has. Uh, oh, <gasps> really? Join yep. the Ooh. Xbox family. Well, I gotta and, do that. and soon it will be soon on will PC. PC. December something. Game Pass yeah. will hit PC. Yeah, just a couple weeks. Game Pass is the best value in gaming. In gaming, oh. regardless of platform. So I completely forgot this. I completely forgot this. Are you ready for one of the most insane things that Ubisoft has done? What? So if for whatever reason you decide you want to own. Uh, a copy of like Assassin's Creed Valhalla yeah. 
on multiple platforms. Yeah. Like, let's say you got like a GPU deal and you got a free copy, but you also bought it for your Xbox. Yeah. Um, Ubisoft has cross save. Yes. Agnostic of platform. Yeah. Their their new. That's amazing. Their new um, Ubisoft Connect connects That's everything where your cloud together. Save goes. It doesn't yeah. go to the console or Steam or anyone else. It goes to Ubisoft and which Ubisoft is fantastic. fantastic. It's fantastic. so good. It's awesome. Ubisoft um, Ubisoft are doing really really good things right I, now. I can think of like seven use cases for that instantly it's like what if you go to your friend you like you go on vacation you go to your friend's house and they have a different console than you mm -hmm. but you want to play the new game you just bought mm -hmm. um and also you can do that for any ubisoft games that end up on game pass i mean if you have it on if you can play that game on your phone on your computer and on yep. you know yeah no. a whole lot of it's, ubisoft games are I, way to game pass but yeah. someday Someday. Microsoft I mean, will buy them too. I I was <laughs> oh I was God. really, really impressed. I was really impressed <laughs> with uh, Genshin Impact when it launched uh -huh. because it had cross save yeah, cross between save PC and, and mobile. And that's I mean the, there's there is a use case for that of look, I just want to log in to get my daily login. I can mm -hmm. do that on my phone. Yep. Right? I have one of those fancy phone controller thingies that actually makes it really easy to play it on my phone. So. I nice. don't, but... Um, so apparently, um, uh, Call of Duty... Razor Kishi. Just for the, apparently, for the uh, Call of Duty Cold War is selling really well. It's, uh, oh, yeah. it's hit a sales record for the series. Apparently, it's really good. That's good. So, uh, yeah. People aren't tired of Call of Duty yet. <laughs> no, I mean... Look, they, they were about to, especially <laughs> joking, when Black guys. Ops 4 came out with no with no campaign and they're yeah. like oh we got to do campaigns man <laughs> people love that stuff um, oh man that was the War best part of the cod game is for so long yeah yep. modern campaign. warfare's campaign was awesome called uh cold war one and two call like of duty one awesome. and two were <sighs> just... oh no i mean there's I'm a reason that like that the last recently. game they made yeah yeah there's a reason that the series has lasted this long and that, that it had an amazing start yeah. I'm uh, I'm 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 mm -hmm. interested. I might pick up pick it up at some point. The the only problem is that Call of Duty games never go on sale. But uh, uh rarely. Uh, not true one if you're talking about the Battle.net games. Those go on sale about twice a year. Oh really? Okay. Yep. I, I haven't really kept an eye on it since it moved to Battle.net to be yeah. honest. Yeah, unless you have Unless you open Battle.net on a regular yeah. basis, which, which neither of you I guys do. do. Uh, uh, I nope. do. <laughs> um, um, you wouldn't see that. PS5 controller support is coming to Steam. Uh, yep. It's coming in beta in soon, so uh, cool. it they will get PS5 controller support. Um, this guy. Yeah, which is good, because I, I kind of want that controller, actually. It's really, it's really awesome. pretty. Um <laughs> Nio 2 is coming to PC in February. And they're doing a uh, collection for PS5 also, which is great. I I really enjoyed Nio. Talk 1. to us about Nio. Talk to us about Nio. Uh, it's, it's Dark Souls. Dark game. Souls like. But Except random like loot drops and equipment and like voice like acting. Voice acting and <laughs> randomly generated loot and um weird story i mean weird story is dark souls so uh yeah, they're the kings of weird story nope taking that back kingdom no kingdom hearts yeah kingdom, kingdom hearts, hearts is the one, most messed number up number one the uh, kingdom hearts game came out this week that's some news nio nio one is was really good um it's sort of an easier dark souls because it's not a hundred percent skill part of it is equipment but uh, yeah, I, I recommend Nio if you like Dark Souls games. It's a it's a really good spin on Dark Souls. Yeah, the first one's already on PC. Yep, second one's coming. In uh, a few months. We got some, and again, this is just Game Pass is the greatest value in gaming. 
uh, got some news this week that, um, I mean, we kind of figured this, but it's confirmation. Uh, both Elder Scrolls Six and Starfield will be day one Xbox Game Pass and PC launch titles. Uh, but if you combine, if you combine that news with something that uh, I think was, I would think it was Todd actually, Todd Howard said. Dad Howard. Dad Howard said last week or the week before, was that, or no, it wasn't. It wasn't Todd Howard. It was. Uh, P. Hines. Yeah. Wait. Yes. Those are the those are the Bethesda boys. No, it those wasn't are the Bethesda, only ones. No, it wasn't a Bethesda boy. It was Microsoft boy. Basically, oh, what well, Philly Spence. It, it wasn't Phil Spencer. It was someone else. But Phil Spencer Aaron confirmed Greenberg. it. Aaron Greenberg. I don't remember. Anyway, basically, okay. what what he was saying <laughs> was that. Uh, Part of the deal with Bethesda, or for of the purchase for Zenimax, is they expect uh, first, better, or best on Xbox for every Bethesda title. So either it will be first on Xbox, it'll be better than other consoles on Xbox, or it will be best on Xbox. So. Yeah. Expect it to either be exclusive for six months to Xbox and Game Pass. Expect it to have additional content on Game Pass. Whatever it is, it'll be best on Game Pass. Yeah. Yeah. I, I thought that was uh, that was interesting. Uh, but it, it but it's also important because they are they are making pretty clear that they're not precluding these games from appearing on Sony. Like they're not. Yeah going the exclusive route they're going the we're just going to make it better on our stuff route yep which thank you um <laughs> so uh, it was um xbox cfo tim stewart there we go thank you um that i like that would have been my like my eighth guess <laughs> <laughs> i would have been like major nelson no. Yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> crap. <laughs> um, Bill Gates. Uh, oh, uh, oh. Yeah, I would have actually guessed Bill Gates. Bill Gates before. Before, before, before Tim Stewart. Oh, um, so, another really. So we, we've really... decided that we can now start a game reviewing service just by watching trailers. Look, <laughs> when it was announced. And every time we've seen it at every games show, which we, we do stream almost every games show we can because we like doing that. Um, when we first saw a game called Godfall. <laughs> all three of us basically had Jake's reaction. We were all like, what? Oh, man. Poor Godfall. Uh, well, Godfall launched, and it is okay. It's well, no, it's it's not even okay actually at this point because okay, six and a half out of ten. Okay a six and a half a, out of ten is pretty bad. Okay. Seven, seven to seven and a half on ten is okay. It That's where Watch is, Dogs sits. It doesn't explode your console. <laughs> uh, your saves, uh, save. Uh, you can complete the game. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you guys: How? <laughs> what percentage of critics do you think recommend this game? Eighteen percent. Twelve. Okay. You both are too optimistic. Wow. Eight <laughs> percent of critics Whoa. recommend. This, <laughs> recommend oh man, that's such a bummer, man. It Games is. I don't want to. Okay. I don't want to. I don't want to dunk hard. on them. I don't want to dunk on them. It just it didn't look good from the no. first trailer. And I think so the problem the problem is Destiny came out, right? Destiny came out and everybody and <laughs> took the world by storm even though Destiny 1 was not the greatest game. <laughs> um everything and, wants to be Destiny. And everybody's like, "Oh my god, we need that we need that and we'll make a bajillion dollars these companies very unfortunately for them do not learn that you cannot chase a trend make it's the this... game you want to make 
it's exactly the same thing that happened after WoW came out. So yep. many MMO same pretenders thing when popped League of Legends up. Came out. Yep. Same, same thing happened when PUBG came out. And and here's the thing is like they they have to, they have to know and and I I I hope in my heart that they have the, this level of foresight. They have to know that when it all shakes out, there's going to be three at most three that are left when the great genre shakeout for multiplayer games at least happens. Wow, Eve, uh, Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy fourteen. Yeah. Um. Uh. uh Dota, League of Legends, Heroes of the Storm. Yeah. Fortnite, uh, Apex PUBG, Legends. Apex. And not really PUBG. It's sort of dead, eh? PUBG is not around really anymore. Yeah, it's it's. Hey, let's it got, see. It got let's murdered see. by Apex and Fortnite. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. PUBG, concurrent players. On why am I in images? Steam charts. I'm trying to think like Destiny. Yeah, so so they were they were averaging like almost a million players every day. And now it's less than two hundred thousand. I mean they're still they're still fairly large, but that is a it's huge enough to keep loss. Going, but yeah. yeah, yeah. They they cratered yeah. pretty badly. Mm -hmm. Um with um Apex Legends is on kind of an upward climb. And it's, yeah. and it's it's not astronomical so like, good. like Fortnite did, but Apex is just on this like steady increase. It's awesome. I can find matches at like six o'clock in the morning, um, mm -hmm. which a lot of FPSs that are not like the zeitgeist at the time struggle to do. And yeah. that's mm -hmm. awesome. Um, Apex has an awesome core audience that that plays it constantly. Also, season seven is so good. Horizon is maybe the best legend they've ever added to the game. She can reposition at the drop of a hat, and it's the most insane thing <laughs> that they've ever added to this game. It's awesome. Also, what the, like, the for Destiny likes. Orison. For Destiny likes. Yes. Has anything else survived? Uh, no. I, I didn't think so. Destiny 2. Yeah. Uh, I'm 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 interested to see because uh, Avengers failing hurt Squeenix bad, real bad, real bad, um, and they've got another really high gamble on Outriders, which comes out early next year. That's mm -hmm. the same kind of game. Oh mm -hmm. yeah, I for I forgot that <laughs> I forgot that was coming. So that one's being made by People Can Fly. It looks good. Which... Wait, isn't that also a Square game? Yes. No, that's what I'm saying. Weird. They they <laughs> bet hard and lost on Avengers. This is coming out in more. January. If this if it doesn't take, Ugh. wild, wild, wild. Yeah, absolutely wild. So, um. Uh, Eric, you had a cyberpunk question. Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, uh, so, Godfall is bad. Yeah. Eric. <clears throat> so games are hard. My question, yeah, absolutely they are. Absolutely. Um, my question is cyberpunk twenty seventy sevens um next gen upgrade for the consoles isn't coming until sometime next year. Yep. So. Uh, my question for you two is, are you going to play it on PC? Yes. Are you going to play it on the downgraded or not upgraded version on a new console, on an old console? What are you thinking? PC. PC. I have a 3090, I my dude. And that, that was as soon as, as, soon as I heard that, I'm like, as soon as I heard that, I'm like, yeah, I'm playing it on PC. I don't want to wait. I don't want to wait a year to freaking play the game. I don't want to wait. It has DLSS means i can play it at 4k at north of 60 frame rates man which... i control runs so smooth dude control at 4k at like 90 frames is the most insane thing i've ever seen in my life <laughs> 30 it's wild i don't have 34k but 
I am never going away from from ultra wide. It's I you love like it, eh? it. I love it. I wish they made ultra wide monitors with the specifications that I want. <laughs> They don't even they don't make them with the specs I wanted. I had yeah. to settle. Um they're starting to but become it was more worth common. It. Yeah. Um, um what uh what um did you settle on? Like Asus, what was the what was the the, the thing that you did weren't able to hertz. get? Yeah, it was I was only a hundred hertz instead of one twenty and HDR ten. Mm-hmm. HDR I mean it's it's fine. I would have liked. It's not, va- it's not a Vesa certified monitor. No, and it's and it's not uh, G Sync. It's Free Sync. Is it uh, thirty four forty by fourteen forty? Yes, it is. Thought so. Um, VG three five VQ. It was eight hundred bucks ish. Oh yeah, okay. Beautiful VG three five VQ. I do have cool. a pre-order for a 4K monitor coming that I'm only paying about five hundred dollars for, so that's nice. Ooh. Yeah. Um, the VG three five VQ. Oh, it's an yeah, it was uh, six hundred. But add on taxes. Oh, that's a good deal. That's a good deal. Yep. Okay. Is that it? All right. Uh, um, that's it for news. There's there's a couple uh, wait where is uh, free shit segment four get your free shit there's a couple of free things this week um, as Jake has mentioned bug snacks on bug PSN snacks is free uh, Not and the o- PS4 version I definitely want to make that clear if you have a PS4 you can claim the PS5 version of bug snacks but it will only play on a PlayStation Five that's weird. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's um, the license they bought. Uh, at the same time, over on Epic Games Store, there's a free game called Textorcist, which I actually tried out. It's interesting. It's um, it's a bullet hell typing of the dead, like. Ooh. <laughs> I actually like that. That sounds fun. Uh, you are a priest. Uh-huh. You in Rome in the nineteen ninety X's. Uh-huh. Uh the there is no Pope. In the nineties? In the nineties, there's okay. no Pope. Uh the holy city has That's gone to demons. Th- this holy city is full of sin and corruption and like slave trade and uh you um you have to fight your way through the holy city and cleanse it all. It's basically a series of boss battles with some loose story in between, but all of the battles are like there's a demon who mm. is shooting like a uh, bullet hell at you, right? Like balls and stuff and you have to it's the entire game is keyboard based. Mm-hmm. You hold shift and you can use WASD to reposition, but when you let go of shift, you type in words. Um, and basically your attacks are, you have to t- completely type a sentence of an exorcism of, you know, we abjure you and the foul words that come from your mouth be sealed in the light of the Lord. <laughs> and then, and then all of the bullets disappear. It does damage to the thing, and then a new sentence pops up, and you gotta type. And it's it's really interesting. Uh, Texter cyst. It's that's, free that's right now on Epic cool. Game Store. Yep, I like that. Um, I something it. I wanted to mention. This is, um, Elite Dangerous is free starting November nineteenth on EGS. Yeah, um, that's a big one. Have problems with that game, but it's not bad, and uh, it's certainly worth zero dollars. Yes. Any day of the week. Most yep. things are worth zero dollars. <laughs> um, Speaking of zero dollars, I've got a stadium that's showing when, up tomorrow. That's oh. oh, that's another thing. Yeah. Uh me and it thank you for pretty good. Thank you, David, for uh mentioning to me that I could get a free stadia. Yeah, um, no problem. That's pretty damn cool. 
Um, um, yeah, in it's... Canada right now, and I don't know, maybe elsewhere, they are uh, anybody who has YouTube Premium can get Stadia for free. Yep. Um, like the actual that, hardware. We're at ten thirty though, and yep. uh, I got nothing to to rant about. Yep. Um, so new con new consoles are good. There's amazing yep. GPUs coming out. Uh, AMD's GPUs launch tomorrow, right? There. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, next week. it's it's a very good time to be a gamer right now. Yep. There, one one might say there has never been a better time to play video games. Exactly. So um, enjoy them. Yeah. Next week, uh, I will be on the show. Um, just saying those words out loud. Uh, and I'm going to be talking about the Kingdom Hearts game that came out today. You excited? Did you guys ever play Theat Rhythm Final Fantasy? No. Yes. Uh, it's that. All right. But Kingdom Hearts. It's a Kingdom Hearts rhythm game. Yeah. Cool. That is With canon that... and required for the story. Because <laughs> uh, Kingdom Hearts. Hey, you in the chat. There's new faces here in the chat this week. Hello. Oh, welcome to the show. Uh, we'd appreciate it if you followed us. And uh, you can hit that notification if you want to know when we go live. Spoilers, the same time every week. Uh, Tuesdays at 9 p.m. Uh, Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. And on Saturdays at uh, 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific, we have the Relay Station podcast, which is all about Star Citizen and Squadron 42, of course. Um and we go over the, the news of that week, so please give us a follow. Uh, if you also please, uh, please join us on Discord. Uh, you can find the link below if you're here on Twitch, or you can go to discord.gg slash relay sc. Please join us. We love you. It's true. And with that, uh, everyone, have yourselves a lovely evening. Yes. Stay frosty. And um, uh, don't let the cold I'm going bite. to I'm going to preempt our, our show this coming week. Y'all should probably watch this one. <laughs> It'll be an important one for for Relay on Saturday. No. No. Yeah. See is that because is that because one of our 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 brethren is getting married on Saturday? No, but but that is also happening. It's true. Uh but yeah. Uh, people in chat watch the show the, watch the, the show, watch Saturday. The show on Saturday uh, see you in the verse, got everyone. some things to talk to you about